That's on her. That's on her. You just swing. She knows to watch out for other kids. Ooh. Hey, I'm there. Nightly walk, and Emily decided to stop at the park and do some monkey bars. She wants to show you. You do sometimes Seeing I Take a picture of me biting your hand Oh, it's not totally totally It looks good though Yeah It's the full middle part right here Is like not right Ready? Take a picture It was a video Oh <laughs> Is it good? <laughs> You're like eating so much of the yolk. <laughs> I'm gonna do the update here while we're at the Devonian Gardens in Calgary. I don't know. <laughs> um, so since the last time we did a vlog where I was talking, um, Warren went to do the follow-up from his surgery. That went well. We just dealt with the passport this morning. And we are scheduled to leave in 14 days. So, yeah, we're just kind of waiting for the rush passport. That'll take a few days. And then um, we'll go back to Southern Alberta do kind of a goodbye and some stuff with our church and then we'll head out so pretty quick now it seemed like a long countdown and now it's like a really little time so <laughs> yeah so that's just a little catch up um I didn't really film like him going for his follow-up because that's weird <laughs> and I didn't film the passport stuff because that's government and they don't let cameras in. But that's what happened. And now we're just kind of at this garden place that's in the mall. And they have lots of tropical plants. It's kind of cool, actually, that they just have this, like, free garden. Usually there's a park here, but because of COVID, it's closed. So, yeah. <laughs> Of mine. Love, love, love. I wanna be strong, strong. We're doing wrong, wrong, wrong. But I'll try. And... What is in there? Okay, come I want a better one from you. Sure. I can't even see. Ice cream. Well, Grandma's in the way. Well, Grandma's always in the way. Yeah, I know. <laughs> okay. okay. There you got that. Two. And two. Go ahead. Take a look. And then you take them off and you dump. Oh. It makes it feel so cold. Now you're gonna get it. You got a spoon there also. This is the end you put in. That's yours, Emily. Me and that's yours. Plastic there. Take it to the table carefully. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so and then you eat the ice cream with the spoon. But it makes fizzy ice cream. Here, give me your iPad. You don't want your iPad when you're eating. It's 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 tasty bubble. Okay, give me this for a sec. Give me this for a second, and you 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 can stir it up so that it gets mixed with it. There. Okay. I'm just eating the bubbles. Yeah, and you can eat the ice cream with the spoon, and then you can put it in, and you can drink the 
Do you like the car? our last weekend here in Canada for a while we wanted to come and enjoy the mountains even though they're really smoky and it's gross and like this one you can barely even see and it's not even that far away but I don't know it should be a nice couple hours to get us out of the house It's kind of like those winter dogs. Yeah. How it like it looks like it because what kind of thick it is. Yeah, that's true. What is this? What is this? I don't know. I think it's just a different piece of the caribou hair and how they cut it because they make these. I'll show you. Look up here. took the video from out of the sunroof of our van so it was all totally safe um yeah anytime we see wildlife like that we like to give them their space we know that we're in their home so we just like to make sure that we aren't invading it while we see them and while we're trying to take videos and pictures um, I thought it was super cool. A few years ago, Waterton had a really large fire and it actually burned down a lot of the vegetation. And the uh, wildlife, like the bears and the deer and stuff like that, are just starting to come back because there's now things that they can eat. So it was really awesome. We've seen about five black bears today in total. The two in the video 
were together, a mama and a cub. And then um, we actually had to pull over to change Caleb's poopy butt. And we seen three more <laughs> and I got super scared. I was like, ah, they're gonna get, they weren't. They were like way far away, but Warren's like, look, they're coming. <laughs> it was kind of funny. Anyways, so it was good to see all of the bears and we are so happy that we got to spend our last Saturday in Waterton. Now the journey begins. So, uh, oh, oh. <laughs> over the next little bit, you can expect, uh, videos hopefully daily, but I think that they will be every couple of days. I think we're going to do like daily while we're in quarantine to kind of do like a documentation of that. And then we will see how busy we are when we are out of quarantine and into full-blown YWAM classes. So we'll keep you posted for sure, but we would love if you follow along the journey. So if you haven't already, be sure to subscribe and that way you will get to see all of our crazy videos for the adventures to come. Bye! It's an exciting day in many ways, and uh, it's also a sad day because we're sending friends off. And anytime friends leave us, um, I know my heart uh, is sad. Um, and uh, so it's, it's on this dual thing that I'm very thankful, but also going to miss a, a very special family to us. So I'm going to invite the Haima family to kind of stand up here to my left, your right, since they're already on that side. And, and Brian can come and and, uh, and join them as well. Since he's their father and grandfather, he can come and join them as well. And then uh, if Mitchell's able to uh, trust that he can leave the live streaming to my son, uh, then uh, um, he can come and join us. Uh, he can come and join us as well. Um, what we wanted to do was we wanted to send uh, this family off with our blessing and our prayers. And the reason why this is exciting is, is we've never in our history of 10 years ever sent a family from our church as, as missionaries, right? And, and so this is really exciting. So on our 10th year of anniversary since we first started, uh, way back in the gym at Westminster 10 years ago, uh, on our 10th year anniversary, we get to send this family off and they're going to do ministry uh, in, in the world. Isn't that exciting? Like, nod your head up there or on the screen or out, out in your living room. It's exciting. And I remember the day that Warren and Dusty or Warren came to me and said, look, we want to serve God on the mission field. And I remember we went, we ate lunch at the Onion, remember that? And, uh, I, you know, I was, I was pretty hard on him in, in the sense of, hey, you realize the steps that you need to take in order to get there. And... He looked at me in the eye, and he said, yep, D Dusty and I, we're ready. And I'm telling you, from that moment onwards, these guys have served. They've been bold. They've raised money. And it's just a blessing to see how God has used them in ministering to people here, we wouldn't have this live streaming up right now without the amount of time that Warren, especially others helped, Mitchell and Jesse and others helped, but Warren, like he took it on his task, I'm going to make sure this happens for our church before he leaves. And they, they did Sunday school online during COVID and they just, and they did it cheerfully and thankfully. And it was such a blessing to see. And so we send this family off with the blessing and joy that God is going to go with them and before them. Now, we did have a slide. Uh, are you able to pull that slide up, Phineas, for us? If Mitchell's going to quickly go do it. It's a good thing our church building is not huge because the guy from the stage can actually go and do it really quick and uh, put it up there. So we want to put this, we want to put this slide up because... This is a matter of prayer. Actually, if you guys want to, Brian, if you want to come over a little closer, we can't see you on screen. We can't see your pretty face and mask on, on screen. 
Yeah, it's really important. Okay, so if you see on the screen, you can see the screen at home as well. So they've raised $30,000, $121, and I think it was like 57 cents or something, but we, you know, rounded it up. No, just joking. Um, um, but uh, this is the amount of money they've raised, right? And this gets them to the training stage. Like they've raised the amount of money for the training stage. What they need and still need to raise is the $44,000 or $44,000, close to $45,000 to um, go to their missional stage, right? And so even though they're leaving in a week, when we pray for them right now, we're going to pray that God help raise that part of their funds. Because God's a big God. Even in this COVID time, God's a big God and he can help raise, raise these funds. So if you're out there in your living rooms and and you want to support, or in, your, in the church building right now, and you want to support, we encourage you to support, right? Because we really believe that God has called them, and God is going to use them for his glory on the mission field. Now, we've supported them as a church financially. I know many of you out there have supported them in many ways. They need finances, but what they mostly need is prayer. So, I'm going to ask each one of you, Rebecca's taking some pictures right now. I'm going to ask each one of you, we're going, to, we're going to send you that picture. Everyone in this church is going to get a picture of Warren Dusty. And I want to encourage you to take a picture of this family that we're going to send out. Stick it on your fridge or in your Bible and pray for them every week. Right? How easy is that? Right? Because they're going to, they're going to need our prayers. They're going to need our prayers as they step out in faith and, and uh, serve the Lord. Now, we talk about Warren and Dusty, but we also need to pray for the kids, right? They're going to need prayers as well. And Isabel's not here. My daughter Isabel is, is going off with them as the nanny for Caleb. Caleb, I'm sorry. Uh, no, just joking. You've got a wonderful nanny. And Isabel's my daughter, if you don't know that out there. But uh, um, Isabel's going to go with them, and we're excited that our daughter is able to go help serve. And I talked to my mom last night. And she said, are you, are you nervous or sad? And I said, no, I'm actually not. I'm excited that my daughter gets to serve and, and care for this mission family while they're in their training. So let's do this right. We're, like Normally we would lay hands on them, right? You know, but we, we don't want to do that because of COVID. So I'm going to ask grandfather to put his arms around them behind them, right? Can you do that, uh, grandfather. He doesn't look like a grandfather, does he? He's too young to be a grandfather, right? And um, Mitchell and I are going to pray for this family, right? And you're going to join with us in prayer as we pray for this family as they, they go off because who knows where God's going to lead them after this time in Hawaii. We may never see them in the sense they, they won't be part of our fellowship like they have been uh, part of us for, the, for a number of years. So uh, Mitchell's going to pray first, and then I'm going to pray for them. And Brian is going to hug them and embrace them as, as their elder and as their grandfather during this time. So, uh, so let's, uh, let's pray. Go ahead, Mitchell. God, we thank you for this uh, couple and for this family, and we thank you for uh, the burden that you've laid on their hearts. Uh, thank you for their joy in serving you. And um, we ask that you would be with them as they take this step in faith and um, there's a lot of unknowns with travel and with COVID and with fundraising and all those things. And yet, um, talking to Warren yesterday, I can uh, sense his excitement and his passion. And so, God, I ask that you would go before them. I ask that you would um, prepare those good works that you have in store for them as they move forward. And I pray that you would bless their work, God, and not that it would be blessed from a, uh, a worldly sense, God, but that it would be um, blessed in your sense, God, that the, they would have the opportunity to grow in their faith and grow closer to you as well as the kids, and that they would have opportunities to love other people and to share your love with them. We pray that you would be with them, give them safe travels, give them uh, ease of travel to get to Hawaii uh, with all the restrictions that are in place, um, and would you give them the strength that they need to get through this stage, and also, Lord, that you would give them uh, an overwhelming love for you, an overwhelming um, fire in their belly for you, that they that um, your love would just ooze out of them, that the people that they meet and the people that they are able to love on, um, that they would just feel your love through this family.
Thank you, Lord, for calling people. You've called each of us. But Lord, sometimes you call some of us to go to the other ends of the earth. And Lord, I just pray for them. I give thanks for them. I thank you, God, for working in their lives. Lord, I thank you for, I thank you for bringing them to salvation and, and calling them as your children. Lord, their testimony is amazing of what you've done in their lives. And Lord, I thank you so much for that. And so, Lord, I know the struggles that they've, they've had in getting to this point and, and just the struggle it's been to raise support during a difficult time. And, Lord, they've done it with so much joy. And I thank you, Lord, for that. Thank you for the example that they've been to me. And, Lord, so we send them off, Lord. Um, send them off not in our care, but in your care. <laughs> and, Lord, you're going to be with them. You're going to be with them as they... Uh, have to wear masks on this long journey as they have to quarantine for two weeks. Lord, uh, I pray that you'll be with my daughter Isabel as well and protect her and the kids. And Lord, may you use them. May through their lives, Lord, that we may see uh, the extension of your kingdom around the world. Lord, we do not know where they're going to go after this train, but we know, God, that you are with them. And so, Lord, we look at that $45,000 and we go, well, how's that possible? Lord, you are the God of the impossible. And the reason why I know that is because you saved a sinner like me. Lord, you parted a Red Sea. You healed people when you came to earth. You rose from the dead and conquered sin and death. And so, Lord, we really firmly believe as a church as a session, as elders, that you have placed your hand upon them. And so, Lord, provide for their every needs. Lord, when, they, when they're doubtful, when they're fearful, when they're afraid, God, I pray that your spirit and your presence will be with them. Thank you, Lord, for them. And thank you, Lord, as a church, we can send them in this way, or send them out in this way. Go and make disciples of all nations, baptizing in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit to Jerusalem, Judea, Samaria, and the other ends of the world, of the earth. I am with you always, declares Jesus Christ. We pray this for Warren and Dusty today. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Now, I would want you. To, I would love to give you guys a big hug, but I can't. Okay, I hope you know that. So, Grandpa is going to give them an extra hug for me, right? So, uh, all right. So, we're praying for you guys and thankful for you guys. So, as we respond, let's um, sing to let's stand to sing together the perfect wisdom of our God. Let's stand and sing together. Thanks, guys.